when Eivor does this, obviously you have access to a full suite of abilities. So again, the improvements that we've done to the fight system. Um, you have some brutal axe throwing in there. You have archery or like uh, range combat abilities in there as well. Um, so really, again, like depending on what your play style is, you can customize your loadout and go in there um, how you wish. Fizz, we just saw this giant pulse go out. What exactly was that? So that is actually this is what we call the Odin Sight. The Odin Sight is basically our interpretation of the um, the Eagle Vision from previous games, and we thought it was good to sort of bring that back. It's basically Avor's intuition. It's how she perceives the world. When Blair uses that, you can it'll highlight basically interactive objects, like things that will bring her an advantage. So we'll have arrows, cons um, like health consumables that are in there. So it really is like a good way of sort of understanding the world and showing you like things that you can go and touch. Yeah, I mean, speaking of things we can touch, we just picked up this awesome new weapon. It's something we wanted to play with on Assassin's Creed Valhalla, where we have fewer weapons in the game, but you can invest in them more. So they become your weapon. And so depending what your preferred play style is or your preferred weapon type then you can go and choose I'm gonna I'm gonna fight with this weapon and invest heavily into that not only are we looting weapons but we see something here called the book of knowledge can you tell us a little bit more about that they unlock skills for the players. So here you can see the Valkyrie dive that has just been unlocked. We have these spread out throughout the world. So again, to promote exploration and discovery, as you travel through the world and you explore locations, you can find these books that will add abilities that you can go and invest in, put into your loadout, then go into the different locations with the different uh, quests in the game and use those depending on what your playstyle is. Now we've recaptured this village, we've secured more troops for our assault. Let's jump back now and figure out what we want to do with Ruid. The rightful king of East Anglia has spared your life today, and so it will be. Compassion is a virtue suited for anyone, Eivor. Including you. Thank you. Eivor decided to let him live. Ruid is really angry about that. Being a Norse Viking, being put to the death in battle is your road to Valhalla. So he was basically denied access to Valhalla in this situation. Obviously, all of these decisions come into play later on in the game. So we have very difficult decisions for the player to make. We didn't want to have easy uh, decisions. 